Artist David Finch updated Wonder Woman's outerwear to give her a badass armored look with extra protection for intense battles. The new costume debuted in Wonder Woman number 41 and David is here to talk us through his incredible art. This, this book was pretty special for me because we transitioned from her costume that she'd been wearing for quite a while to a completely different one. And she starts out in a regular costume and she had just finished a really tough story and this is kind of a, the beginning of a new chapter for her so I wanted to start out with something that looked you know, a little brighter and, and open and she's flying through the clouds. I actually based this shot on a statue that I, I found online. I thought it looked really amazing. I wanted to do something a little bit different and you know, just a little bit more outside of the kind of shot that I would I would normally do. And when I got into this stuff here, I, I've been looking actually a lot of, a lot of uh, Eduardo Rizzo, who is a, one of my favorites. I love his, his use of black and white and, and just layering with, with black and white. So this was a real attempt. Actually, this face right here is me taking so heavily from from his artwork. I think this page of, of the whole book was, was the most influenced by, by Eduardo. And then going into this scene, uh, this was actually a, a real fun scene for me to do because I'm a huge fan of the uh, Brian Azzarello and Cliff Chang run on Wonder Woman that came just before us. I thought they were, they were great. And this was our first chance to really draw some of the characters that they came up with. So we've got Zola and Baby Zeke. And uh, I had the option of, of drawing a new Olympus because it changes all the time. So I could have made it different, but I just, I loved what he did with it. I, I loved the whole modern look. I thought it was great. So I just, I stayed with what Cliff had done. I have to say, I think this is probably what I do worst as an artist, people talking and people smiling and, and showing expressions, just not really who I am. This is more who I am as an artist, drawing, you know, some muscly guy wielding a hammer and hitting a piece of metal, you know, that's that's just fun for me. And uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's actually a little bit of Frank Miller in here. I was kind of going from, you know, a little Eduardo Rizzo. Frank Miller's a big influence, I think, on Eduardo. So, you know, it was kind of a natural thing. And some of this more hard line, kind of edgy stuff, that's a little Frank Miller in there. Uh, and this is the big shot really of the book. This is Wonder Woman getting her new costume. Uh, and she gets it from Hephaestus and he gives her the new costume and this is her first time, you know, trying it on and seeing, you know, how she how she feels in it. So it was a it was a big moment. I wanted to give it a nice big splash page. I wanted to have Hephaestus in there, but I wanted to make sure to knock him back so it was really all about Wonder Woman, which is why he's got kind of a shadow over the top part of his figure. This is really not because I just didn't want to draw the character, which I do sometimes. This right here, this is, I wanted to keep it mysterious, so I wanted it to be dark and I, I didn't want to show too much. And also I was really late and this is the end of the book. So this is what happens, it's a bunch of silhouettes. And again, a lot of silhouettes. So there's a little bit more. I actually drew most of this page on an airplane. I can't remember where I was going, but yeah, in a little airplane seat and one of those little, you know, so the whole page is curled up, but that's the job sometimes. And now this is AGS at the, at the end of the book. You know, I, I love shots like this where I, I can go with like a single light source right in the middle of the panel and radiate out all my, my light points from that. It gets a little complex and I'm probably not perfect with it, but I always feel like it's a cool effect. So, and then with the last page of the book drawn very, very quickly, I think it shows. It's a big horse with uh, some arrows. This is a page, I, it's heartbreaking. I was looking forward to this one. Sometimes this happens, you know, it's the end of the book and it, it went quickly and I feel like it's not as great as it could have been. But the next issue, I drew the horse again and it looks much better. I was much happier with it. So that's basically the issue. This is a big issue for me because Wonder Woman has a new costume, which, you know, everybody around the world, I, I think you'd be hard pressed to find somebody that hasn't heard of Wonder Woman. So to be able to do something that affects her, her personality or her look or anything about her, it's a really big deal as a creator to be in that position. So it was very special. Now that you have some insight into David's artwork, you can dive into Diana's latest outing in next week's Wonder Woman number 46. And Wonder Woman is all about truth, so mm -hmm. why don't you be true to yourself and click subscribe to DC All Access? It's the power bracelet of the internet.